by Shunk Furniture of Marquette. And with a northeasterly wind yesterday, that kind of helped aid the snowfall in the higher terrains, of, higher terrain of Marquette and Barriga counties. And in fact, it was a daily record snowfall on Sunday at the National Weather Service in Nagani Township. Total for the storm was 14.2 inches of snow on Sunday, and that is a daily record for that day, 12 December 2nd, 2018, and that beat the old record on December 2nd of 10.2 inches set back in 2004 and the water equivalent or the precipitation equivalent of yesterday's snow was over an inch and a half of water 1.6 1 1.62 hundredths of an inch of rain. Now, as we look at our local three radar network here, we can see we do have dry conditions across the UP, but we do also do have some lake effect snow showers. And I'll flip on the radar and satellite. We do have some lake effect clouds and in some spots, some lake effect snow showers. Nothing really heavy to speak of tonight and any lake effect snow that does develop won't get out of hand. So let's look at our local three future cast here and we can see we'll keep the lake effect clouds coming off of Lake Superior tonight along with the lake effect snow showers, but with winds tonight veering more west to northwesterly or turning more west to northwesterly, we can see that's going to favor more locations from Munising eastward to Grand Marais and north of Newberry and also in the Keweenaw Peninsula. And that's also going to be the favorite spots as we go into the daytime on Tuesday. And then as we go into Tuesday night into Wednesday, we get a little bit more in the way of cloud cover. Our next storm system is going to be coming in from the northwest, and that's going to be our next round of UP wide snow behind that storm system. A brief time of Arctic air will move in here for Thursday and Friday, but I think temperatures do start to moderate as we head towards the weekend, and I'll show you that here in the seven day forecast. As for now, six o'clock Eastern temperatures, we have temperatures in the 20s, and as we look at our lows for tonight, we'll have low temperatures pretty much around 20 or into the 20s, but a few inland spots could fall into the teens. And then as we go into the daytime on Tuesday for high temperatures, we'll see highs in the 20s, but there could be some spots that could make it into the 30s. Here's your seven day forecast. UP wide snow chances do start to move in for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll transition it over into lake effect snow late Thursday going on into Friday. But as you can see behind that storm system, we're going to have high temperatures on the cold side for Friday afternoon with some spots may not getting or some spots not getting out of the teens. And then as we go into Saturday, it's a quick moderation in temperatures. And in fact, next week we could have a good moderation in temperatures. Good seven days out, but we'll have to wait and see. We're looking for temperatures potentially in the 30s to perhaps around 40 degrees. And you can also see at the end of that seven day forecast, we will start to dry things out. And I think we just